Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's tool review video is on this Ingersoll 429 air saw. In the video I'll show you the specs of the saw. You'll get a close-up look at it and I'm going to tell you why it comes in handy in my small engine shop. First of all here's a close-up look at it. And here's the model number 429. It's nice and compact, it's small, it's not too heavy, it's not cumbersome at all. And it's made by Ingersoll Rand. Here's the number. I'm just going to plug it in my air outlet to show you what it sounds like. It's actually variable. It's used a lot in auto body work, but in a small engine shop it does come in handy to cut off certain things. And here are the specs on it. Strokes per minute, 10,000. And you run this at around 90 PSI. And you get six blades with it. Some fine ones and some coarse ones. And you get the Allen wrench over here to take the blades off. To take the blade off, you just take this little screw out over here. This cover here will open up. And then you grab the Allen key that came with the tool and you just loosen both on each side of the blade sometimes one will do and now the blade just comes out so that's all you do to remove and replace the blade and once your blades back in you just tighten up the two set screws and then just put the cover back on with the screw Now on this tool you can adjust this bracket here or guard. So if you just loosen it, you can move it up or down. Depending on the work you do, you may want it up here or lower. I usually keep it down here and it serves me for pretty well everything I need to do in the shop here. So there it is. What I'm going to do now is just try it out in a small piece of metal to show you how this thing cuts. And always put air tool oil in it before using it few drops will do. By the way this saw here has a nice trigger here. It's nice and smooth. I'll be cutting this piece of metal with the saw just to show you. It's fairly thick. I'd say it's at least 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch thick. When you use this tool you want to be sure that you use safety glasses. So that was pretty quick. It's a lot faster than doing it by hand. This is mostly what I use this saw here in my small engine shop to cut small pieces of metal that I need from time to time. Also if you need to cut off a bolt inside a lawn tractor or snowblower or something that is hard to get at with a regular saw or grinder, this little thing gets right in there and does the job in minutes. Something else that this saw comes in really handy in my small engine shop is to cut old bolts. Sometimes you cannot reach with a grinder. So this thing does a good job. I'm just going to cut through this to show you. It takes time, but I only use it when I'm in a tight spot where I can't get a hacksaw or grinder as I mentioned earlier. By the way, it's not meant to be cutting bolts only do it once in a while with a saw like this. And I think that the warranty is one year on this saw. I'm sure you can find a million uses for this little saw. I'm sure if you have one in your small engine shop you're going to use it at one point or another and you're going to be really happy about it. It's gotten me out of so many jams I wondered how I managed without it all this time. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and you'll see me next time. Have a nice day.